Well, it looks like you sports fans in D.C., you're just not woke enough. So welcome back to the channel. Hey, YouTubers, Culture Confederacy here. It's Thursday. So happy Thursday, everybody. And I'm keeping my eyes on the Trump trial. So once that news breaks, the verdict in this Trump trial, I'll bring it to you. Posted a video about the jury instructions last night. So if you watched that video, thank you for watching, subscribing, being a part of this thing called the Culture Confederacy. As you know, I have a blast doing this channel. Absolutely love doing this channel. It's a lot of fun. So there is other news out there besides the Trump trial. And in Washington, D.C., it appears that sports fans aren't happy with the name Washington Commanders. And this is a story by Nikki Habla, last name J-H-A-B-V-A-L-A, and Emily Guskin. So it says here, two years ago, the Redskins changed the name in order to be more woke and sensitive to Native Americans. Kind of ad lib there, but or paraphrasing. But that was the whole gist, was to change the name, to be sensitive to these other groups, minorities. But as I mentioned, D.C. local fans still aren't happy with the change. And according to a Washington Post Shar school poll, that's S-C-H-A-R school poll, 54% of local fans hate the name. Among diehard Commanders fans, 58% say they don't like it. Now, also according to the poll, D.C. fans in general were split, with 31% approving, 31% disapproving, and 17% having no opinion. And they break this down further saying that uh, uh, among sports fans in general, 31% loved it, 33% disliked it, and the hate category among all three groups, diehard fans, uh, sports fans in general, local fans of sports in D.C., 18 to 21% for that hated category. So this averages out to about 16% who think that the name should stay the same. Now, if you recall back in 2020, July of 2020, during all these riots, the owner of the uh, Redskins then, Daniel Snyder, under pressure from sponsors, local officials, he retired the Redskins brand and adopted the moniker Washington, uh, Washington football team for about 18 months before it got changed to Washington Commanders. But NFL rules, the bylaws in the NFL, state that a team can only change its name every five years, and it's costly. Because if you change the name, that means you've got to uh, rebrand everything, all the merchandise, you know, uh, renegotiate all these contracts with your sponsors because it's a new name. It's like starting a new company, which pretty much you're doing when you start a new name. Now, in a follow-up poll, we've done the, by the Washington Post here, they asked people what names the Washington Commanders should be changed to. They're just not woke enough. And they included Red Wolves, Warriors, Red Tails, Red Skin Potatoes. Red Skin Potatoes. I kid you not. Red Skin Potatoes. But they didn't want to use the name Warriors because they thought it would be offensive to Native Americans. You think that Red Skin to, uh, Potatoes would be offensive to people in the South who are of Irish descent? So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think they should keep the, main com uh, the name Commanders? Uh, or should they change it? Because no matter what name you change it to, I mean, this is a dirty little secret here. No matter what name you change it to, you're going to offend somebody. You can't make everybody happy. But see, that's what they want to do. They want to make everybody happy by changing the name again. After changing it to be woke. You're just not woke enough. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or go to X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time. And y'all have a great Thursday. Catch you next time. Did I just say that? I just did. Hey, it's a one-take video. It is what it is. See you then.